Mr. Cyprius, teacher superlatives, and honor society inductions. All this and more, you are watching Panther War News. Good morning, welcome to Panther War News. Today is Friday, February 17th, 2017. I'm Josh Altera with your Day School News. <laughs> and I'm Jake Jackson with the Panther War Sports Report. We have the results for teacher superlatives, and they are most likely to look like a student, Renee Stallions, Anthony Paez. Most creative lesson plans, Brittany Camp, Christian Zimmerman. Best dressed, Trishwin Rowe, Paul Rothenberg. Most Panther spirit, Rebecca Henry, Adam Kurtz. Biggest workaholic, Patty Gare, Chris Bradway. Most likely to be quoted outside of the classroom, Jennifer Prito, Gary Stroh. Hardest class to earn an A. Roxy Bradway, and Will Bolin. Character or celebrity look-alike, Caitlin Patrick, Tinkerbell, Brandon Hendrick, Mr. Crocker from the Fairly Odd Parents. Lee County School Counselors are working to get the word out that over 60 scholarship applications are up on the Community Foundation website and are encouraging students to apply at floridacommunity.com slash scholarships. Applications opened on January 16th, but we received less than 100 complete applications. Make your counselor have a big smile as they think about your future. Check out the scholarships that you can apply for today. The CLHS Center for the Arts Dance Department presents Cinderella on February 23rd through the 25th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. You don't often get a chance to see a fairy godmother take her wand and work some magical spells, so come and see the magic. The next National Social Studies Honor Society meeting will be held on February 27th at 1.50 p.m. in room W153. Members must pay their dues of $12 before the next meeting. If you're planning on taking AP classes during your high school career, you should apply to be a member of the AP Capstone Academy. This is the final week to apply. Applications can be obtained in Ms. Bradway's room, W252, or in the guidance department. The application deadline is tomorrow or today, very 17th. 2017 applications for the Miss Kathy Scholarship are being accepted now. This is a scholarship for Cypress Lake High School seniors interested in pursuing a career that helps people with disabilities. The deadline is April 7th and forms can be picked up in room W165. Attention Lee County graduating seniors pursuing a major in any visual arts field. A scholarship is available from the Decorative Artists of Southwest Florida. Committed to inspiring and supporting the visual arts field in our community, the Artists Organization offers an annual $500 scholarship award to be paid directly to the art school or college that students will be attending. For more information, contact Scholarship Coordinator Melanie Holloway at the Southwest Florida Community Foundation at floridacommunity.com or call 239 274 5900. Applications are due by April 15th. Have all of you heard of the FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, especially when there is a disaster and lots of people need help? Well, there is a youth prep. Preparedness Council that is part of that organization and they're looking for students who will help make communities safer, better prepared, and more resilient. The council offers an opportunity to serve on a distinguished national council and share experiences and ideas about youth disaster preparedness. Find out if this is something you would like to get involved in. Apply online at community.fema.gov or see your counselor for more information. The application deadline is March 31st. That's tonight and tomorrow. Hey, what are you doing? I'm looking for an audience from Beans and Scenes. When's Beans and Scenes? This Friday and Saturday at 7 o'clock in the black box for $10. Oh, cool. oh yeah, there they are. Woo woo! Oh, hey, good to see you. What's up, guys? Is that a cupcake? Oh my gosh, hey! I've been looking forward to this all week. It's lit. Catch us in the black box, how about that? Come to be disease! That's tonight and tomorrow. Each February, Black History Month celebrates African Americans' contributions to America. With the high school science teacher father, Evan Ford developed an early love of science. I always wanted to be a science. I already had a telescope, microscope, and chemistry set by the time I was in third grade. At only 23, 
Ford had earned a master's degree in marine geology from Columbia University before becoming a marine researcher for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. An expert on submerged canyons, he studies formations and the causes of underwater, underwater avalanches. Ford was the first African-American oceanographer to do research aboard many subs. A strong advocate of science education, Ford has written the Science Corner column for Ebony Junior Magazine. The Miami-Dade school system sees Evan Ford often as he has spoken to thousands of school children about oceanography and science. There will be an NEHS meeting on Friday, 2.24 in E to 11 from 1.40 to 2 o'clock. AP Research and English Honors. The absolutely fascinating current visual arts gallery show reflects students' interpretation of the color red. We have over 70 students in all grades displaying multiple artworks. Red has historically been associated with sacrifice, danger, and courage. It plays an important color role in the arts, religion, advertising, industry, fashion, and culture. A variety of red, crimson, and scarlet vermilion will cover our gallery walls as students explore different media to represent their own personal concept of the color. Red is inherently exciting. Come and see. You only have until March 3rd. We have a few seats left for our career exploration night tonight at 5.30 at the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. This is your chance to talk to local professionals in growing fields as you plan for your future. There's no fee to attend, but you must email matrorav at leeschools.net to reserve your seat. Or call Michelle at 239-337-0433. If you've reserved a seat but won't be able to attend, please be sure to email Michelle to open your seat to someone else. Don't miss this great opportunity. 5.30 p.m. tonight, call Michelle. Aquí hay algunos detalles que probablemente no sabían de México. La pirámide más grande que se sabe que existe es la Gran Pirámide de Cholula en México. Además, el presidente mexicano Pedro Lascurain se renunció como presidente en menos de una hora. México es uno de los destinos turísticos que tienen grandes atracciones para visitar, como Acapulco, la ciudad de playa más popular de México, con playas de arena dorada y un montón de complejos vacacionales. Chichen Itza es un mundialmente famoso complejo de ruinas que fue construido por los mayas. Hierro el agua es un conjunto de formaciones rocosas en Oaxaca, México. El acantilado se eleva sobre la plataforma natural que tiene cuatro manantiales. Hay dos piscinas artificiales en las que los visitantes pueden nadar. The softball team will have an away game against Island Coast on Tuesday. JV begins at 4.30 and Varsity Falls at 7 p.m. The lacrosse teams will be at Riverdale on tomorrow. The girls play at 5 p.m. and the guys follow at 7 p.m. The Shrimp Run 5K is coming up on March 11th and we'd love for you to be a part of it. The Lions Shrimp Parade and Cypress Lake Athletics will once again be hosting the Shrimp Run 5K. This huge event course takes you over the Fort Myers Beach Bridge, leaving from Dock Fords. Our goal this year is 500 runners. Let's cover the bridge in purple. Register in Liam Farrell's room for their $15 rate. If you have elementary school children, the Shrimp Run One Mile event is on the sand the Saturday before on March 4th. It is free for elementary kids. Registration is 7 o'clock at 7.30 on Co Connecticut St. Beach Access. Awards and prizes are for the first through third boys and girls in each age group 5K. See Liam Fair for your kids or little brothers and sisters. On behalf of everyone here at Panther News, I'm Josh Otero. And I'm G. Jackson. Have a wonderful day, Cypress.